Which Spice Girl can hold the most petrol? Jerry can. <laughs> For those who don't know what a jerry can is, it's simply a petrol can. That one was from Andy Mealy, and don't forget, comment your jokes down below, because I am running out. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. Right, so I've been getting flooded with messages about the latest Android TV update on such as the NVIDIA Shield, the Xiaomi, the KM3, everything like that. So devices running the Android TV OS. And a lot of people are finding that they can't download and install apps anymore. There's apps disappearing from the Play Store that allow you to install stuff onto your device. And the main problem being Puffin TV. So let's jump into the video. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. And don't forget as well, if I don't mention the problem you're having in this video, simply comment down below and I'll be more than happy to try and help you fix whatever problem you're having. Right then, so we're on an official Android TV device. And like I said, the devices that are finding these problems the most are such as the NVIDIA Shield, the Xiaomi boxes, everything running a fit like Android TV OS. And Puffin TV is the most common web browser that you use to install apps onto your device that you can't find inside the Play Store. Some people use Google Chrome, some use Firefox, Silk Browser and things like that, but I'm going to show you something else in a minute as well that's going to mess up that. So the problem that we are having, I'm going to quickly show you the problem that people are experiencing, and I'm going to show you how to fix it. So if I search something inside Puffin TV, let's crack on .org. Yes. So if you search that, and all I'm going to do, I'm going to install a normal file from the website. So we're going to try installing file linked. Right, so when it's finished and it's ready to download whatever you're trying to download, you're going to see it says download is not supported on this device yet. Obviously, that's not the kind of shit we want to see. And this is due to a recent update of Puffin TV. But we're going to show you how you can fix it now. And this isn't just for my website. Anything you try installing, anything from, you will get this message when you're using Android TV and possibly a lot of other Android devices. Right, so if we go back home, the first thing we need to do is go to Settings, we go to Apps, and then when you go down, you're going to see Puffin TV and simply uninstall that bad boy. Click on OK, and then you're going to see it disappears like we want it to do. Because you're useless, Puffin. You're just useless. <laughs> so once you've done that, one more thing you're going to need to do is go inside the Google Play Store, and then at the bottom, you're going to see it says settings. And where it says auto updates, you need to change this to don't auto update apps. If it's on auto update, there's no point in trying to do this fix. Because what we're going to do is install a previous version of Puffin TV that actually works. So make sure you click on don't auto update apps. And then that version you're going to install of Puffin TV now will work. And I know a lot of people will be thinking, well, why can't we use a different browser? Why do we have to use Puffin TV? And I'm going to show you now. So this is the Google Play Store. I'm going to go to search web browsers. And as you can see, there's no Firefox, no Silk Browser. There's not even no Google Chrome. That one there is dog shit because I tried using that. The only one really there is Puffin TV. There's not really any other one you can use. So what we're going to need to do, we're going to need to install Downloader onto the device. But I know a lot of people will be saying, well, why can't we use Downloader all the time to install whatever we want? And I will show you that as well. So if we go to the search icon, and we're going to search it now. And I've got to say, Tech is my passion, the new Dimitrology channel. I was trying to find this for ages, and then I saw his video, and it helped me because I couldn't find it anywhere. And you're going to see now, if I type in Downloader, so down, and you're going to see the left-hand side, the orange one there, you see Downloader. But if you continue to type it in, it disappears. So you're going to need to make sure you only type in Down, and then you'll be able to install the Downloader app onto your device. Simply install it, and then once it's finished, we're going to go back home. I'll add it to the home screen to make it a little quicker. We're going to open Downloader. One very important step is make sure you allow those permissions. You're going to need to do that to be able to install anything. So when we click Allow and OK. So now as you can see, Downloader is mainly used on Amazon devices like your Fire Sticks, Fire TVs and things like that. This one you find on the Google Store is it looks like an old version of Downloader. 
But I'm going to show you why you can't use this instead of Puffin TV. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to type in the website, let's crack on .org. And once I've typed this in, you're going to see why we can't use it. And it's strange, really. Right, so I've typed in let's crack on .org. I'm going to hit on go. And then you're going to see this shit message. Loading web pages is not supported on Android TV devices because Google has required that the built-in browser in this app be removed. And breathe. <laughs> So you can see that they're trying to get rid of any way of you installing anything not supported by the Google Store. So if we go back home, the URL you're going to want to enter is a little different. So we've got let's crack on dot org forward slash. I've just hit my microphone. Sorry if I deafened you. Puffin. So P U double F I N. And then you're going to go dot. So a little full stop. A P K. And once you've done this, you're going to hit the arrow. It's going to start downloading. Because it's a direct download, you don't need to use the built-in web browser. It's going to ask you if um, you're going to allow downloader to install unknown devices. It's not going to ask you that, is it? <laughs> it's going to take you through and ask if you want to allow downloader to install unknown apps on your device. Just simply hit the settings, the slider, click on back, install again. Go down and across to install. And now we're installing an older version of Puffin TV that actually works on Android TV devices. So we're going to click on done. Very important step, make sure you delete and delete again. We no longer need the installation file. So once we've done this, we can go back home. And what we're going to do now is go to settings. Go down to apps. You're going to see downloader. We're going to see uninstall. Click OK. We'll go back home and we're going to add Puffin TV to the main page. And now when we launch this, we're going to try installing something again. And hopefully, because it's an older version and we have turned off auto updates inside the Google Store, it should work. So we'll search it. Let's crack on .org. So we'll click on that bad boy. I can't believe that these understand me, these voice recognition things, honestly. <laughs> so once again, I'm going to try and install file linked. The same as what we've just seen previous that wasn't supported. Right, so now what we can see is it's asking to allow Puffin TV to access the device to be able to install stuff, so it's actually working. Hey, hey! <laughs> we'll click allow on that. We're going to click on the back button, go back to the start page. Go down to Downloads, and you're going to see it's there. And once we click on that, it's going to ask if you want to allow Puffin TV to install unknown apps on the device. Simply do the same again. Click it, click the slider. Click on the Install file again, and now it's going to allow you to install from Puffin TV. And it's as simple as that. So yeah, I hope this has answered a lot of your questions, and it did my head in. It really racked my head. Even just trying to find Downloader was stressing me out. But we managed to get there in the end, but it does look like Android TV devices are going to make it difficult for installing stuff that's not on the Google Store. But by doing that, you should be good to go, you should be sound. But like I said, any problems I haven't mentioned in this video that you are experiencing, do comment down below, I'll be more than happy to try and help you and get it fixed. And don't forget as well, comment them jokes down below because... I'm struggling. I'm, I ain't got many left. And coming up to Christmas, we're looking at a lot of videos, so get them commented down below. Right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it to keep up to date. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. These apps disappearing from the Google Play Store, which are a lot of the... And like I said, the most common... And like I said, the devices which are finding these problems... And like I said, the fucking hell can't talk. But it does look like Android TV devices are going to be making it.